um, I would like to share a few thoughts about pain and the overman, the Übermensch, <clears throat> as Nietzsche called it. Um, man needs God. And most people agree with that. But what uh, few people know is that God needs man. Um, and the way I could express it is that man's body and his senses is the tool, the instrument that God uses to become conscious of his own creation, to experience his own creation. And in the Christian doctrine, it is said that the soul, which is a part of God, is being incarnate in a body. And I will read a passage from, from Hegel. Hegel says, God is God only so far as he knows himself. His self-knowledge is, further, a self-consciousness in man and man's knowledge of God, which proceeds to man's self-knowledge in God. So, man and God reciprocally need one another, as strange as it may seem, because um, without man, God would be abstract, and man is the negation of God, God, as, as, as pure thought, is abstract, man is the negation of God, and the concrete unity is uh, God's knowledge of himself through man. And the way I could try to express broadly my views is that God, it, it's not to be taken literally, because it's, it's not really that, but that's just a means of representation. God loves the mind. What people call the devil, um, he hates the body. And what people call Christ is he who loves the body. But the body is the, the cause, and the, not the cause, but the source of, of pain. So Christ is he who understands to love his own pain and the devil does not understand that that's the difference and god christ and devil uh are are a trinity of of modes of consciousness which are um inherent in in every man we have all a devilish nature an angel nature uh, a divine nature, uh, a human nature, and we are always in conflict with the various tendencies of our being. And um, um, Novalis, the German poet, says that sometimes with the most intense pain, a paralysis of sensibility occurs, the soul disintegrates, loses its connection with the whole, there is no inclination for anything anymore. Uh, he who experiences this, he has no connection with the rest of the world and he becomes misanthropic and misotheos. That means that which, or he who hates mankind and who hates God. But in the Hegelian process, this is what Hegel calls a moment of the negative, and it is a necessary moment in the process of development of spirit. And um, the reason why what people call the devil is hateful is because he suffers. Um, that's quite complex. And because he suffers, he he wants other to suffer as well, so he's resentful. But 
this is the 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 view of representation in in Hagel's system. This is a moment of the development of the logical ID, and to become Christ is to welcome the pain that is being inflicted upon you and to understand the necessity of it and to accept it and the reconciliation between man and man, man and God, God with himself and Christ with the totality is this, this consciousness and this is as strange as it may seem, this is what Nietzsche calls der Übermensch. The, the overman is he who, by being molded into the totality, uh, by fusing with the totality, accepts the negative parts of the totality within himself, but is not resentful and, 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 and joyfully accepts the whole and and, and becomes by, by accepting, understanding his suffering, uh, uh, also understands the suffering of the whole and, and becomes uh, uh, the will to, um, to, 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 to recreate this moment of, of cosmic consciousness and Der Übermensch, there is only one Übermensch, it's Christ himself. And Nietzsche, but that's a dialectical twist, was actually a Christian thinker. And he is the one who brought about the meaning of Christianity, how paradoxical as it may seem. And um, I understand that, um, that process from an intellectual point of view and I must understand that I must accept to experience the process and um, yeah, so I, um, I will do my best. <laughs>